Hey guys, Lynn here. Welcome to another episode of our site. Now in this video, we're going to cover power and how to exactly use it. Okay, many objects in your settlement will require power, just the same as electricity. So to provide power to an object, all you have to do is connect it to a power generator, okay, which you can build from the build menu. Now just like in real life, power is shared between most objects by wires, okay, and you can run wires between two objects by highlighting one of the objects and pressing Y if you're on Xbox, and I guess it must be triangle on PlayStation, okay, I'm not sure about PC, I am guess one of you guys will tell me. And once highlighted, any object within range of the one you just highlighted will be highlighted in white, okay? And then you can go press Y again on that highlighted object, and your two objects will be connected by wires. And all objects that are connected together with the wires are now called a power grid. And you can use all power produced within the connected grid, which means you can hook up multiple generators into a power grid and you can provide power to everything in the grid. So when you're doing this, the direction of the wires that you place down, it doesn't matter, power flows freely, so you don't have to worry which way that you do it, all right? Highlighting a generator will highlight all of the objects that are part of a power grid, okay? But if you highlight an object that requires power, it'll say it requires power and it'll be red, and it needs to be connected to your power grid. And this means the object either isn't hooked up to a power source, or that your power grid is overloaded and there's simply not enough generators to keep the power going throughout your grid. Okay, so you'll need to build more generators. All right, there's only a few things left to tell you. All right, guys, don't forget that wires have a limited range as well. So if any of you guys have ever played Minecraft, okay, it's just the same as redstone. You can only go a certain distance before you have to place down a repeater. And it's the same in this. You have to place down a power connector to kind of bridge the gap if your range is too much, all right? And you can connect the two wires using a power connector. All right, and you can get these in the menu. And they also include switch versions, which allow you to turn power on and off to do anything connected to the switch, okay? And finally, some objects only need to be next to a power source in order to be used, such as light bulbs. So you don't need to directly connect them with a wired connection. Alright guys, I hope this has been a very easy to follow explanation of just exactly how power works and hopefully you guys don't have a problem powering up your settlements. If you do, don't forget to let me know in the comments and I will try to help you out as best I can. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time where we will be covering workers, how to get them and how exactly they work. Alright guys, see you next time.